make Bitcoin great again with the brand new all time high pumps currently trading above $74,000, which is a brand new all time high exciting times we are in right now with pumps galore around the board. I'm going to be talking you through what though are we looking for next? Of course, we call Donald Trump being elected as the US president. Big news for the markets. That is very, very big news. But what we're going to be concentrating on in this video is not the fundamentals and the election results, but we're going to be focusing on the technical analysis. We are seeing very, you know, at the moment, really good strength throughout the board. We're looking at the ESNQ, lovely pumps today. Bitcoin as well with the same 7% move to the upside, all time highs as we stand. I'm not in any short trades. OK, so I am looking for a bit of continuation to the upside, but I want to bring it back to is there upcoming close by a short trade potential. I believe there is, and I want to talk you through that in this video. We cannot get too ahead of ourselves. So I'll be talking you through the next short trades and whether actually we could see a fake out of the all-time high, bringing us to lower prices, right? Uh, or alternatively, right, we get continuation. We get continued strength through the order flow viewings and we're bring, bringing us up towards 80 plus thousand dollars. This is gonna be a really key video for you to pay attention to. I wanna start off where I left off ya, <laughs> yesterday's video, yesterday's video, uh, where we were monitoring the order flow live in the time. I'll give you a quick trade recap, because of course, trades were taken during that stream. <laughs> and I'll give you a quick trade recap, and then we'll move on to what you're looking forward to, and that is today's price action right now, why I personally am looking for higher next, but where the next short trade potentials could be. So yeah, I hope that you enjoy this one. It's going to be good. Get strapped in and pay attention, please, because everything I cover is very useful to you as a trader. So bringing it back to yesterday then, a bit of a trade recap for a few minutes here. At the time, we were trading at the start of that stream $68,800. And I was explaining as we were starting to get the little bit of a move up here why the order flow was very bullish. We were seeing the open interest increases paired with high positive delta. And that, as you know, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. My exact words were, uh, this is very bullish. We do not want to short yet. We had to wait for the move up at the time, just the day trade. But I was looking for the short at $70,000. And the readings of the order flow were correct as we made our way up from 68800 during that stream to hit $70,300. My entry trigger was with a market order as we come below 70000 And my actual entry in the end was $70,000. Bang on, right? So I had that entry, uh, $70,013. And during that stream, I, of course, hit take profit one, which was at the low of this move for 10%. And then I hit take profit two, which was off of the massive, massive important level of the range point of control. And I was explaining why this will be such a big, important take profit on that short trade, because this is a nice reversal zone, as we all know. Well, I hope you know by now, we did make our way down to actually below $69,000. Uh, but that big, important take profit was hit. And we actually saw this type of price action where they moved down to test 69K, a uh, little bit then another move to the upside. Then a move back down to take all resting lower liquidity and then a reclaim with some bullish market structure coming in. And at this point, we all know what happened next, right? We got above and this was the key above $70,000. We reclaimed $70,000 as support. And then as I was saying in that video, right, we reclaim $70,000. You're looking for all time highs. That's what is going to be coming next <laughs> with, you know, with the fundamentals, you know, obviously playing a part in this uh, move to the upside. But nevertheless, in terms of the resistance between 70,000 and 74, there was nothing, there was nothing to be had. So, you know, naturally we had to remain uh, patient, looking for a continuation at that point to the upside. Let me just mute Discord a second. Uh, so yeah, that was all fairly simple in the end. And um, yeah, the way that trade played out for me was I had the entry at 70,000, hit take profit one during the stream, which was off of the la 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 mini range low. Then I hit take profit two at just around $69,000. And then as mentioned, that for me then is the stop loss move to around entry. And of course, I got stopped on the rest of that trade, but it was what I had to be expecting because overall, right, the market has been very, strong and with everything going on you know we were looking towards those all-time highs one thing that i would say was greatly 
uh, helping Bitcoin reaching these all-time highs was, of course, the viewpoint on the ES and NQ. NQ was actually at a pivotal, major, major, major support zone uh, from the weekends. So we actually reversed down on Friday to hit the CC, the daily level, the value area low of the range, okay, um, on the uptrend anchored VWAP. And I mean, come on, that is one of the biggest support levels you're ever going to see. And this is what I highlighted greatly during the Champions live stream. This is a massive, massive, massive support zone on the NQ. And we see the reaction that we had from that, right? Massive pump to the upside on the NQ. And ES the same to make brand new all-time highs. So when you've seen so much strength on the, you know, legacy market, so to speak, on the stock market, well, that is going to be very beneficial for Bitcoin because what do I tell you? They are correlated markets. So with such pumps to the upside on ES and NQ, it's only a matter of time uh, before Bitcoin moves up to. Remembering the overall strength, remembering the order flow view that you had. And of course, the major, major point here was the reclaim of $70,000. So as soon as you get these candles here, you're clearly trading above $70,000. You know, you, you, you at that point, what are you doing other than expecting a massive pump to the upside towards all time high. Uh, and that is what happened next, right? So you did get that big move to the upside, bringing us up to where we are now at $74,700. So as I mentioned at the start of this video, is there a potential short trade lining up next? And of course, we actually do. And that is a simple case of trading a lower term time frame range. So what I class myself as bearish on Bitcoin right now? No, absolutely not. Uh, definitely leaning more towards the bullish bias. But nevertheless, I recognize... <sighs> At the end of the day, this is a range to trade and I will trade it the same as I always look to trade ranges. And that will be one of two things. We either get a move to the top of the range and we reclaim it, flip it into support. Then we'll look for continuation towards the upside again, towards 80, 90, $100,000. It's all realistic and achievable. But nevertheless, if we get a move to the top of the range and we get more of a fake out, so that is where we get to the top of the range and then come back in with a swing failure pattern or failed auction, that's where we can look for the short trades. Reminder, that doesn't mean I'm bearish, but I'd like to take short trades when they are given. What will I do, though? I will look to take profit on that short trade, protect myself with moving stop losses down to entry, and ultimately, we can still expect for some continuation. So what would be some key levels within this range? Of course, the range point of control is going to be key. So very much like yesterday, right? We had the short of the value area high, but we can absolutely hit point of controls and reverse. So the same thing would be looking at here. We can hit that range high, get the short trade, look for that big important level of the point of control. Why? Well, if we end up losing that, well, then we can look to the walls of our area low. But if we do what we would more expect and hold it as support, well, then we look for continuation. So the theories that I'm trading are the same day on day on day, right? I'm waiting for my big levels. Again, this is not a big level up in comparison to yesterday. Yesterday, we had anchored view apps, we had uh, CCs, uh, we had the value area high of the more local range. So you had like three levels of confluence for that short trade that I took on stream yesterday. And again, it ended in a profitable winning trade. So that was great. But today you do not have that. You are now at all time highs. There is no confluence at all. So again, this is definitely a much more, you could say risky, low, definitely a lower probability trade. So that's something to bear in mind. If you are not comfortable taking these aggressive short trades, trades and it's not for everybody you definitely I will say this have to be a skilled trader if you are not a skilled trader if you are not good with taking profits because a lot of people they'll get in a good winning trade and then they'll just be like oh I'm not going to take profits it's going to drop more it's going to drop more and then guess what it reverses and they get wiped out for losses or liquidations so if you're looking to short this move on Bitcoin, you have to be a skilled trader. Let's be honest. You have to be not greedy and you have to be good at taking profits. And you also have to know how to use risk management because, you know, you don't, definitely don't want to be caught offside on this bull market uh, and just, you know, get yourself underwater. So 
Although I talk about the short trade here, I want to say it's only for skilled traders. If you're not a skilled trader, you're better off really trading with the trends. And, uh, you know, that has, is safely to say it's, it's very much up right now. We're, we're at all time highs. Uh, I want to give a quick shout out, by the way, to Igor, who actually timed the overall low of these moves all the way back down at $50,000. And throughout the whole rise has just been extremely bullish, uh, not looking for any short trades at all. And uh, whether it was the long that he gave to the group at $50,000 or whether it was the longs that he's given throughout the rise, like he has been on the right side of the market here, continuously, uh, you know, very bullishly biased, looking for aggressive, well, not even aggressive, but just good long trades, uh, holding them to targets. Uh, so I wanted to give a quick shout out to Eeyore, who's absolutely smashed this. Like that, that was epic, by the way. Um, <laughs> so yeah, if you want to see these types of trade setups, then that's obviously for the champion members. But but yeah, hats off to Eagle. You've crushed that, my friend. Uh, and then for us more on the lower term time frame in this video, again, trade the range till it breaks. Very skilled traders only should be looking for the shorts. But again, if the short is given, it's something that I would take. But I would be very... Uh, on the side of cautious with, you know, nice take profits, not getting too greedy, recognizing there can be weakness. But I think for that, we want to be looking for daily closes at this point. We've not even got to New York Open. So I am definitely expecting continuation. I am definitely expecting further upside. I want to see highs put in during uh, New York. So that's in about another hour and a half, two hours ish. So yeah, two hours, uh, 10 minutes to be precise, actually. And so I'll be looking for uh, that 2.30, um, you know, session to be putting in new highs and then make the informed decision next, right? We want to come over and look at the order flow. From this order flow, we'll make another informed decision. Is it going to be like yesterday, what we start the, saw at the start of the stream as we approach New York, where it's just bullish, 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 strong open interest, strong delta. We're looking for a really good continuation to the upside. Or do we see some weakness, trapped longs above the range high, and we activate the short trade. Again, my friends, I cannot tell you as nobody can in the world, what reaction we're going to get at that high. All I can say is right now I am looking for continuation and I will be monitoring the order flow when, in my opinion, we approach and make new highs. Then we will either look for continuation to the upsides or we get the fake out for an aggressive short trade for the skilled traders amongst us. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I think you would remain a little bit patient. Wait for today's session to close, giving us the daily close. And then you're going to be looking for the daily close above $74,000, which is a close above all time highs, which is naturally going to be a lot of strength. Or alternatively, we actually get the daily close below 73,600, which would be a swing failure pattern on a daily perspective and more of that strong fake out for further downside. So, yeah, for the, you know, the aggressive traders amongst us or the skilled traders, I would say, because, you know, I think it's fair to say this is a hard trade and that's why I don't recommend it for, you know, newer traders. You really have to know what you're doing here. I have to know how to read order flows. So, for that, yeah, you got the aggressive trade setups close by. But for the more conservative traders or slower paced traders, I do think waiting for the daily close is going to be nice because then you can see whether you're trading with a daily swing failure pattern or you're actually closing with strength above all time highs. OK, that, that's going to be very key. Um, so, yeah, that is my viewpoint. That is my game plan at the moment with looking for the continuation and then making the informed decision at the high uh, again. If we do get that short trade, much like yesterday, massively key what goes on at the, the point of control. At this point, we'd be locking in take profits, moving stop losses down, protecting ourselves, and just once again, guaranteeing profits. This game is all about making profits. We can make profits, of course, with lovely moves to the upside, but there are, of course, even with massive moves to the upside, opportunities for short trades. So myself as a trader, I recognize, you know, you don't want to get greedy on them, but there are profits to be had. And so at some point, one of those short trades will end in a swing trade because at some point the market will reverse timing that of course very hard but it is achievable so uh yeah if you want to see that you know where to get it chartchampions.com like those live trading streams yesterday you actually get that you know four times a week as a champion member so if you're enjoying the live trading streams well you get that uh, four times a week in the champions membership it's also where you get a look every single morning so uh every morning you get a stock market update you get a bitcoin update 
So daily morning live streams covering both markets. You get AMA streams, of course, the champions live streams where we go on the higher term time frame looking at those swing trades. Uh, you get the Discord group where you see myself and the other coaches posting about our trades and outlooks. And um, yeah, that's uh, on top of that, of course, how could I forget the ov overall whole educational library from start to finish uh, with the Elliott Waves. Uh, you got everything that you need to learn you know, succeed and really do well in this market. And this is the time you've got to be here. You've got to be learning because we are in a massive move right now. We're towards the end of the year. And this is the time to make massive amounts of money as a trader. You want to be in on this volatility and you want to be on the winning side and chart champions will get you there. So I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much. You know what I'm looking for next and the range I'll be trading. So cheers, everybody. Thank you ever so much. Have a good day. And that's me signing out. Goodbye.